Hey this guys, our studio. We're what? back. You painted <laughs> me. That's where you saw me. Of course. So of course you realized the last episode, y'all. I got I got caught up. The men and uh, are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. See, we we came out to here. I'm guessing we're supposed to just run forward, and I ran back like a dummy. <laughs> uh, oh, we do have a lantern. Uh, but before we go down there, though, oh my, that's that's not good. Let's switch to yeah. Uh, yeah, see, like there's there's nowhere to go but forward. So whenever we run that way, we we just we go that way. We just gotta run. So hopefully she'll run behind me. I I, I don't know. You good? You okay? Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna make a run for it here. What the? Oh no! This way. How she get in front of me? Man, she quick. How she get in front of me? What the? What is this? Oh, she barred the door. Okay. Smart. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas. Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. That's fair. Don't be mad, man. That's 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 fair. Like, we can't just leave these people to suffer like this, man. I mean I get I get that you you know. You you feel obligated to save her, but we get we get this more than just about her, man. The green machine. Can we just turn it off? Is it that simple? I guess that's okay. What if we're just what if we're dreaming? I'd be better off finding a tool. Where would we find a tool in here? Uh, I can't go back that way. Ah, there's one here. Perfect. All right, let's try it again. Hope you guys enjoy my playthrough, man. I'm having fun with, with it. Now, what is this stuff? All right, that should do it. Let's move. Oh no. She said he always knows. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! Why is that like always like the go-to word in these you're situations? My wife, my wife, you owe me obedience. No, no, she doesn't actually. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Uh oh. Don't get between me and my wife. Oh my goodness! Uh, that was just a little dramatic, but... <laughs> Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. That's the wrong move, man! That was the wrong move! Ooh. Oh man, what, what are we supposed to do? No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Uh, you have no feet. You're capable of protecting her. For her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. <laughs> You let Fuller play with her! Stop! I did everything I could to protect her. Did you? But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. 
Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Ooh. She's a trap if it doesn't matter. She hurt you. It was not her fault. Medicine professional? She's weak. Physically. And mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. That's fair. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the Count will always be here, waiting for her. Then, we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, Detective. They control the whole island. She will they? finally surrender to his power. And the world will fall with her! Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. Why are you so mean to her, though? Huh. See, that was the move. That's what I was talking about. Why you didn't do that, Edward? Wow, really? Ugh. a minute ago. No accent here. What if he's right, though? You know, like, what if, what if he just made a really good point? No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Famous last words, I would imagine. My work was what lured me here in the first place. She began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? <laughs> ah. Ooh! Good for you! I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Sir, what are you? Oh, this is what happened. This is what happened that time. I mean, that, uh, that started all this. Mm. He didn't touch the thing, though. He didn't touch the door. Who's this? Did 
you couldn't save the boy. Hmm. Okay. Simon. Come on. It's over now. This is really sad. Giant squid? <laughs> Why do we keep ending up back at this particular spot? Just on the... You are not seriously considering exposing yourself to that influence again. Hold on, before we encounter them, how many how many CP points do I have? That's what I want I got eight! Holy cow! Okay, alright, well we're just gonna keep Elevating them all equally. Uh, 60, 60, 60. I have three left. Uh, I'll put some into investigation, uh, eloquence, and psychology. Yeah, let's just do that. Holy smokes, man. Wait, is this her? No, that's that's the officer. Actually, you know what? Just because I want to, uh, I'm gonna explore a little bit. I feel I don't feel like there's anything that we haven't uncovered, um, but I do want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Now we've been in here. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Wait a minute. No, we don't need to reconstruct this again, right? I don't feel I don't feel like we need to redo this, or do we? Oh, I don't. Do we need to redo that? Is it, is it the same in here as well? No. Okay. Well, let's go back and find out then. Maybe, maybe there is some significance to doing this right now. Let's let's see. Okay. Start here. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Uh, here? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Is that what that is? I can't really tell. Uh-oh. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. What else is there in here? How did she survive her encounter with the shadow? That's a great question. What did she do, exactly? How did she react? Was she afraid? What's here? Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Then why, why, why did he behave the way he did then? You know what I mean? Like, why, why did he, why, why was he so mean toward her? I, that I don't understand. I don't think we've ever actually been up here. Is there some of her? I guess paintings that never left the room. Well, we'll question her Sarah Hawkins in a minute. I'm trying to, I'm just, I'm taking it all in, man. I'm trying to get the fullness of the game, you know? Okay. All right. Well, I guess we, you know, we kind of now have some additional information to, uh, to ask. 
when we go talk to her, there's something over here. Oh, it's nothing. I think we've already emptied out this room, I'm pretty sure. Another place to hide. Armoire. Is that what they call it? Okay. Oh, well, yeah, we can actually go down here. Let's talk to the uh, to Officer Bradley really quick, if we can. We can't. Yes, we can. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pierce. Yeah, I'm it's me. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Colden. Have you had any news? Yeah. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened, but I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... you sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug, Fuller. I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? <laughs> what? What is this stuff? His grief clouds his judgment. It does. Marie Coleman would not have wanted that. Let's try that. You knew her better than I did, but don't you think that it would betray Marie's way of thinking? She spent her life saving lives. So wouldn't killing someone in cold blood be contrary to her convictions? Yeah. You're probably right. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Fair enough. Fair enough. Still sorry it happened, though, man. We did try to go save her. That wasn't a lie. Now, I wasn't going to lie to the man. Like, I'm not going to give him false hope. You know, that could come back to, come back to haunt you later, man. You know? You have to explain why you lied. And it's like, no, nah, don't do that, man. Just, you know, just tell them the truth. This is what happened. Um, you know, it wasn't intentional. He did do what he could to save her. Like, he really did. I'm trying to find this oil, man. I know you guys are like, gee, where you going? <laughs> I, I remember there being some oil somewhere, wasn't there? Um... Are we, are we allowed to do this? Bro. Oh, it, of course it's blocked on the Damn. landslide. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave-in. But at least I didn't dream it. This is true. This is true. Okay, I don't, I don't know, guess that there's anything else I can do then. I was trying to find some oil for my for my lantern. But I think at this point, we're gonna go back and go ahead and talk to um talk to Sarah. I'd be better off if I went to see the others. <laughs> it's like I'm getting ready to leave. Like I, this is too much for anybody, man. I'm not I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Alright. Mr. Pierce. Yes. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Bookworm. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Okay. Question, Sarah Hawkins. Well, now that we saw what we saw upstairs, let's see if we can, I don't want to say interrogate, but at least try to get some additional answers. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. 
but I can't come back to Boston with you. Uh, there is a cult on dark water. I mean, it looks like we have the ability to say that now. You and Drake are up to something? I saw everything. The tunnels under your house, the rituals, the secret society. I must get you out of its reach. I know how dangerous they can be to me. But first, there's the Wanderer. I must find it and kill it. Wanderer? I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. Oh, I guess that's the thing that's been no, chasing me. you will me. come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Why can't, why can't Pierce see that? Valid sand. I don't know what this means. Let's go with this. I, I want to be supportive because, I mean, she makes a, a good point. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. See? That's fair. That's, that's definitely fair. She's been through a lot, man. She has been through a lot, bro. I'm trying to see, what is that? I can't really see that necklace too well. Oh man, up close and personal. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, she said, he said, she said he would be in Charles's office. Where is that exactly? I can't remember. I can't remember guys, where is it? Is it down here? This must be it. Right? Yeah. Cause he's yeah, this that's right. This is it. Alright, let's talk to Al Algernon Drake. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What wow. do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Okay. Again, what, what, is, what is that? Okay, I'm not, I'm, I don't know what that is. He must have a plan to get rid of it. He sold the dagger to Sanders, a, di a dimensional shambler. Let's start here. This creature, the shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift, a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. All right, let's go to here. The dagger with a strange sign. Sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger, <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. 
It must never come back. Easier said than done, man. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found somewhere this in the house? drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. That's fair. Why do we have a picture of his head here? Would this be in reference to a painting or a bust? These sales are out of order. Uh, I don't that that's not it. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're, we're on the hunt then. I'm trying to find whatever this is in our hands here. Uh, I don't know if it's a painting uh, or, or a statuette, whatever those things are called. There's absolutely nothing back here. It's collap collapsed. All right, well, I'm looking around. We have seen that symbol many times. I don't recall ever seeing this anyway. Is it, hmm. I don't recall ever actually seeing this. But we will look. You can get two of the same paintings in the house. Uh, we'll look to see if we can find it. Uh, let's let's run. Let's go through here. Nope, nope, and nope. That's not it. Not there. Or here. Or any of these things here. Uh, nope, it doesn't have a beard on it. That was close though. This not was it this one. This one here. That was close. All right. Well, let's continue looking. There's one here. That's not it. You know, one of the, uh, it, we've had several opportunities to drink, and each time I've chosen no. Does that in fact does that impact the story at all? No, that's not it either. I don't think. All right, let's go. What's over here? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, it's not it either. Okay, let's go upstairs. No, not, no, I don't think so. Sorry, Bradley, man. So sorry. Where can this thing be? Is it over there? We've been over here a couple of times. Still no beard, so I don't I don't think that it's secondary find the so it is a bust. I see that now. Okay, so it is a bust. We'll find it. We will find it. It's in the house somewhere. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything here. Okay. I mean it would make sense that it would probably be in a bedroom, maybe. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. I, I feel the, I feel like you guys are screaming at me like, gee, you missed it, man. It's over there. 
don't think it is. I, th I think I'm doing a pretty good job of looking. No? All right, let's check, let's check in here. That's it. Oh, I know, I know where that is. The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed, uh, concealed by concealed. What? The sketch must guide me to the artifact, or artifact concealed by concealed. Charles, I think that's a typo. Where have I seen it already? We know where that is. I know exactly where that is. Uh, we did open these, didn't we? Yeah. There's nothing there. Or if it was, we already got it. Yeah, we know where this is. So let's head back here. Who would do this, man? You know, have, this, have us on this, uh, uh, have us on the hunt here. Yep, we know about this. Was that there before? That's it. You got it. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. Yes, it is. The amulet is engraved with the elder sign. Drake uh, calls it the key of, uh, I don't know what that says. Uh, he firmly <laughs> believes this artifact is of great power. Oh. Uh, what? A slight glimpse into the future, perhaps? Uh, I guess we'll head back and hand this to him. And I think after that, I'm probably going to take another break, guys. Um, wait, this way. He's down here. This game has been pretty good so far. I, again, I've said it before, man, but I really do appreciate you guys suggesting it to me. Um, I, I, I have enjoyed it. I'm enjoying it, I should say. Ah, uh, it's you again. Why you say it like that? Let's give him the amulet. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. How do you know? You don't have we nothing in your hand. Saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Okay, we're getting some getting some CP. Where can we spend it? Or where should we spend it? Uh, let's see. I get well, we're going to spend them here. Here and here. Yeah. Trying to keep these like relatively even. No, I'll, I can't. I can tell you to do that, man. All right, let's go. Let's go talk to her. Um, I think that will. I'll end it. Well, actually, no. I think I'm gonna get over here to where she is. Why is she here? Interesting. I tell you what. Let's let's call it right here, guys. Let's stop it right here. A lot happened in this episode, man. It's it's. The, the picture is kind of getting a little bit clearer for me. Uh, clearly, Sarah is at the center of all the stuff that's happening on this island. Um, I guess they're trying to use her to, you know, make their presence known is what I'm guessing. Still not quite sure what happened with Charles and why he was disfigured like that. I, I, I don't know that. But anyway, we're going to continue playing this game, guys, until we get to the very end. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are enjoying it, uh, don't forget to take a quick second to subscribe before you guys, you know, check out another video. Uh, I would really mean a lot to me, guys. Uh, we, we will be back to war with Bill. Uh, we will be back with more tomorrow. I got tongue tied there a minute. Uh, so I'll see you guys then. You take it easy. Later.